Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived here in my larder. I've parked under an oak tree, but around me, everywhere, are pine trees. The place we've arrived at today is the Pinewood Leisure Centre, which is also home to the Pinewood Miniature Railway. Just here, it's near Woking in Berkshire. So here we are, look, this Pinewood Miniature Railway. I've never been to this railway before, so that's why I'm quite excited about. I can hear the sound of steam locomotives and whistles being steamed up so I think we're going to have quite an interesting afternoon when we see what they've got running here so we get to here this is the main shed little diesel loco it's a great western loco there's a, a county class there being steamed up turntable a couple of other locos on shed there's even a bullet pacific over there so what I think we'll do we'll go and see what there is we'll go and have a ride and just have a look around the site so it looks as though over there, that's the ticket office, so we're going to queue up. Let's just go and have a look at the locus. There's a train sat here, there's a, a high neck, that's quite nice. Perhaps what I'll do, I'll try and get, I think it's a nice mix of diesels and steam. If we can get a ride with a diesel and a steam, that'd be quite good. So see there's that high neck there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to join the queue and see if we can get a ride behind this high neck. Yep. Oh,
having had an enjoyable ride behind that high mech, I thought we'll go for a little walk around some of the site, do a bit of line side, and I'll come back and have steam hall drive. As you can see, it's getting a bit busier. I, I arrived just when they started, so it's um, going to be quite busy, which is going to be quite good for me because what that means is there should be a lot of trains. So on that double track section, there was a level crossing. I thought we'll go for a walk up there. It'd be just like um, being by a main line and just watch various trains go by. It should be quite a nice um, to just stand there and watch trains. Always good fun. So walking down here, by the way, the rest of the site, you can see all these buildings here. It was a Canadian military hospital, I understand, and it's now used by various different people. So when it says it's a leisure centre, not like a leisure centre with a, I think it's a whistle, not like a leisure centre of, say, like swimming pools, that kind of thing, more like leisure as in this sort of leisure, like riding miniature trains. I noticed there was a little theatre, I think there's a cafe in the site, so it's um, that sort of leisure. And also, there's, there's all the steaming bays, a little Great Western Loco. Going down here, my other sort of leisure I like is going for walks in the countryside. And by doing what we're doing now, go for a nice walk into the woods, and as I said, we can do a bit of line siding. That's the, that level crossing there. That's the branch line to the sheds, so like the depot branch, if you like. The railway itself, it was, you may have seen from the, from the journey we did, it's effectively a figure of eight, but a bit of an out of shape figure of eight. The station is just over there. Oh, look, there's a, there's an, um, a 2MT loco. I think the station's a bit crowded. So where the, um, there's a high mech about to come past. Hymek we rode on that on this next trip. That's on the inner of the eight. So there that goes. That's on the inner eight. And then that will then go across. There was a, a flat crossing. It will run down the double track section, round the loop at the ends and back. So probably what we'll do is as we go along, we'll see that Hymek come past us again. And as I said, I'm just going to hang around by the level crossing. So if you, if you want to visit the site, it's it's easy enough to visit if you've got a car. It probably would be a bit of a walk if you don't have a car. But you can do some quite nice walks. There's another nice looking path going off down there. It's free to park, so it's free to visit the site. And you just pay to either have a ride or you know, do what you'd like to do. Uh, there's, there's an Oristein and Copperwell um, local which we'll have a look at later on. So that's on the inner of the eight. This is the outer of the eight. It's quite a nice little viaduct. I went over it, it's more though when you go past it you can appreciate it as a bit of a hole so they had to build a viaduct. The railway I understand has been around since 1983. But I think it officially opened to the public in 1988. So it's been here quite a while. Very nice setting for railway. I always remember with this one, like I say, I haven't been here before. I had always sort of looked, I spend a lot of time in sort of researching, you look for railway on Google Earth. Some railways are very obvious. This one, you can't see anything on Google Earth because it's all in the trees. So it's um, it's a bit of a mysterious railway. But now I've been here and sort of seen where it goes. It's really, it's a really pleasant railway. I can hear a steam train. Don't know if we'll see it. Um, it's that, I think it's that orange stein and copper loco. At the moment, you can't see it particularly well, but you can hear it. Sounds really good. You might just see it through this gap in the trees here. You should just see it in the distance. But you can certainly hear it. We saw a similar Oristein and Koppel locomotive at another recent miniature railway, but it wasn't a miniature. We went to Tinker's Park. If you want to see that video, have a look at the link to the screen now, down in Sussex. They've got a seven and a quarter inch gauge miniature railway, but they'd also got a two foot gauge railway, and uh, we saw that local there. Now, when we get to this crossroads in the woods, notice a level crossing. Here, the steam loco. This is like the end of the double track section, and um, as if by magic, that Hymex coming along again. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hang around here basically and just, just watch trains because it's a nice place 
to watch trains.
I've enjoyed a nice bit of line siding. It's a really nice bit of track here because it's uh, sort of eye level as the trains go past. This is the big loop at the end of the railway line. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a little look up here. Yeah, so you can see the railway line. It goes off around there. That's the end. Down here, there's a, a little bit of a, a river I've noticed, um, which is quite interesting. So, yeah, so there's a stream I get across. Yes, yeah, so I've just come across the stream there. What we'll do, we'll walk up here. There's a footbridge just here, just to, you know, a bit of fun. Always enjoy a walk out in the countryside. So if you do come here, as well as, you know, having a ride in the train, I think, go for a nice walk like this. Oh yeah, there's a bridge up there. I, I jumped over the stream just for fun. And then, I still hear the trains, come back over the bridge. And then what I'm going to do, walk back, I'm going to get a ride, hopefully on one of the steam locos. I'm not sure which one, just see which one comes along with. Really.
train coming up behind us. Change your left, please. I've had a really nice afternoon here at the Pinewood Minute Drill. I enjoyed riding behind the Heimlich. Past 20 going by now. Yeah. It's almost like being back at Reading in the 70s or 80s. It's a nice, nice mixture of trains there running. And then of course you've got Clan Line and um, the 2MT. And there was also the Orestine and Koppel just to make things even a little bit more different. I'm going to walk back over there to my larder now. And that will be the end of my visit. I've really enjoyed it here. But like I say, it's, it's a good place to come. I think you pretty much have to come by car. There's a children's playground, there's lots of other things to do. So you could quite easily spend the day here. There is also a cafe here, so you can get teas and cakes, etc. So, good place to come for an afternoon. I think the, the public running is usually the third Sunday of each month. So if you come along on the third Sunday of each month, that's when the railway runs to the public. Anyway, I'm gonna get back in my car and go home. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you to the railway for and inviting me and accommodating me today. It's been a great afternoon, so thank you very much. Goodbye.